Jewish soldiers taking revenge on the Germans? It's a great question. Uh, he wants to know if there are any examples of, of soldiers taking Jewish. revenge. I don't, I didn't hear many. Jewish soldiers. Jewish soldiers. What did I say? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jewish soldiers taking revenge. I personally didn't hear it. I was waiting for the great revenge story when I started making this, and I think that it was a very one-dimensional approach to making this film. And then as time went on, and I was hearing these amazing stories about people becoming citizens, and that's what they wanted to talk about. And that's, you know, this enthusiastic read on the story that it wasn't about revenge. Uh, like Manfred Gantz said, you know, revenge um, doesn't sit very well with me. I think that after a while, I, I've never been in combat, and I've talked to several people that have, I think that after a while, it's just, what kind of revenge is there? You know, you're fighting guys who are very much like yourselves, uh, from small towns. Fighting the Nazis was a little different, you know, they came across SS uh, regiments and they were very, very tough, uh, fanatical troops. I mean, yeah, I've heard stories of, uh, you know, a guy might have punched somebody during interrogation, but uh, if you're interrogating a soldier, you're not going to want to lose him and you're not going to want to treat him harshly because you're not going to get the information and if you're on the front line, you're going to want as much information as possible. So, uh, I, the revenge stories that I've heard pretty much ended up in the movie, and I haven't heard about anyone uh, killing anybody. If, if they did, actually, uh, Peter Terry, there's a weird, you know, ambiguous feeling that a lot of them have, the ones that I came across. No one's proud of killing anybody. And uh, so that's, I mean, I don't, you know, Manny, you're, you're a combat veteran. You're from Germany. It's, you know, I don't know if you could answer this question, but... The question of what? Revenge? Revenge, and how that went. No, uh, you, you said it, actually. Uh, because when you do find these people, uh, you look at them and they're you. You know, they, they, you don't see the bigger picture. You, you, you see people who, uh, who claim that they were forced into it. I didn't want to do this. I'm glad uh, you captured me. Uh, that kind of thing, you know. Mm. Yes, sir. Uh, I knew one of those uh, soldiers. Uh, come back to his home town and uh, as and uh, he did extract a kind of revenge but it was good revenge it was a, uh, a Jewish girl came back to town and he kind of uh, in a sense bullied his former uh, uh, his former neighbors to provide accommodations for her and to uh, get her settled and uh, I think the greatest revenge is that we exist still. And that we came back and that these people saw in the ranks of these Allied soldiers, proud, well-trained, well-fed, confident soldiers. That's the greatest revenge story that, that you could possibly think of. And, that, uh, and that's, that's the best revenge. I think that obviously uh, these people were flabbergasted to see that, you know, I thought we got all the Jews. And uh, and they didn't. That's a thirty thousand Jews living in Germany today. And the Holocaust Museum in Berlin. That's a great revenge. Yes, sir. The war ended in Europe. The Jewish Brigade was doing duty in Europe, and they went out looking for Nazi officers. Yeah, I, I heard that the gentleman said that the, there were uh, revenge squads. And uh, it's interesting, I, I, some of the men that I interviewed saw that. And uh, without, you know, cursing, a lot of them just said, you know, we, we met these, you know, we just didn't do that. You know, that I, I guess that, you know, the Jewish Brigade, those who were, they, they were in combat with, in one battle in Italy right before the end of the war. And, you know, I just, it's, it's like the blind man on, on the elephant. Everyone has a different experience in their family. Uh, I didn't hear any stories like that. Um, you hear the story where they tried to poison some bread? Some bread? Yes. For, for the Sapalak officers. Oh, really? The, the, the Allies stopped. That's, like, that's the subject of my next film. <laughs> 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 um, But the librarian in me, how did you get the footage, and how did they let you, was it, was it all just public domain stuff? No, I mean, the, obviously there's the personal photos, but 
a lot of the information, a lot of, uh, we had to license it, and it cost a fortune. I think that the vast majority of our funds from the you know, fundraising went towards purchasing this material. I mean, it's, I'll tell you in person how much it cost, but it, it, was a, it was a lot. There is a lot of public domain stuff, but then you have to pay for the transfer, and then they send it, so it is a, it's a small fortune that I wish I had right now. <laughs> one last question, yes. Last one, oh. Someone in back? Do you have distribution for this? That's a good question. We just, in the last couple weeks, made a non-exclusive deal with American Public Television, and they're going to be getting this on PBS. Uh, the question is, are we getting It's going to be on various PBS stations, but it's uh, not soon enough, and I hope it uh, happens sooner and, and uh, there's a station in Israel that's going to show it and uh, oddly Japan there's a, there's a station in Japan that wants wow. to show it so mm, we're really excited nice. about that but uh, thanks so much for coming out I appreciate it